This impact screen has served me pretty well so far, but I'm working on some decorative doors to hide this shelving here. But the crank mechanism for my roll-up screen is in the way, so I need to move it a few inches over. And the impact screen is a little bit too wide for that, so I need to narrow it up a bit. And there's a little bit of wear and tear on this screen. I went with the unfinished edge. The edge of it is actually fine. It's not fraying or anything. And that allowed me to loop the bottom and sew in this pipe in the bottom. And that's where the wear and tear is coming in. And originally I did not protect the ends of my pipe. And so there was a little bit of fraying over time. You can see some of that stitching isn't holding up very well that I did. Um, this staining is all from the rubber mats that I use on the floor so it hangs down below these rubber mats and when there's an impact on the screen it's enough to move this around and this hits the mat and gets some discoloration there. You can see that's more the majority of the wear is happening on the bar. So I'm going to go ahead and try this new impact screen. I keep this as available on Amazon. I'll link to their store in the description below. This impact screen that I currently have is 110 inches wide. I went with 108. So it's a couple inches narrower allowing me to move in. And this should have a finished edge. And we'll see if that makes a difference. If I like this better than the unfinished edge. I don't think it's going to roll up as good. Um, that's why I went with the unfinished edge originally, uh, my crank mechanism. The unfinished edge rolls up really nicely, it stays flat. Um, but to be honest, I don't roll it up and down that often. So, All right, let's see what's in our box here. It's packaged pretty nicely. In a bag even. And it even comes with bungees to use on the grommet. So I'm thinking I can hang my weight bar with these and these loops instead of having to sew it together. And I think that'll be more durable and long lasting. Seems to be similar material. This might be a little bit thicker. Um, and this finish edge isn't that thick. That I think it's, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference on the roll up, but uh, let's get this thing up. I have the old screen down. I'm just gonna pop the stitching out of one end and remove the pipe, the weight pipe. Okay, that's the old one down. I've got to move my support on the side and the crank mechanism, all that. See how that goes. All right, I've got my crank mechanism moved. I, I raised the bar up a little bit because this one's actually a little bit longer. Um, it's not as wide, but it's longer. So I went up a few inches. Now I'm gonna get this sucker hung up. I'm gonna to try to not get it as stained as much as the other one was. And I'm just gonna hang it up in these eyelets with zip ties to start with. Now we'll take a look at it and see what is the best long-term uh, method to keep it up there. But this is a little bit harder than you'd think to, to do a one-man show. Uh, so hopefully zip ties I think will be a good, easy way to get it up there. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see what it looks like. I replaced the zip ties up top with duct tape all along that edge from the screen to the bar and then I gave it one roll and that's about the perfect height. You don't want all that stress on the tape, it's not going to last so tape kind of holds it in place. Get one wrap on the bar by rolling it up and that holds it really well. Because this screen has a finished edge with the eyelets, I've ditched my weight bar at the bottom and I used 
the bungees that are included uh, with this screen and drilled a couple holes in my rubber mat below and threaded them up through and I'm gonna see if I can attach this this way and uh, when I want to roll it up just come here and unattach them that'll provide some bungee effect to the bottom I can tighten it up with the roller good so we'll see if this concept works my only fear is when I hit a ball into this, if I'm using driver or something at high speed, uh, if it's going to pull the mat up and uh, loosen things up. So we'll see how it works. All right, it's working pretty good with a wedge. We don't have the crank locked yet, but I'm just gonna, let's try out the big stick to see if we need to lock the crank mechanism before we actually do it. Not too bad, but I think it will, we did lose a little tension, so let's see if we can find a way to lock that handle in place on the crank. Came up with a pretty simple way to lock our handle in the down position to keep some tension on the screen. Took a standard bungee cord, removed the hook from one side, screwed that side to my corner plate here, and then reach it up and just hold it down in this position to keep a little tension on it. Also didn't want to fix it super rigid so that there's a little give in all this so no parts break, hopefully. You notice on the image quality, it's not quite as good as the old screen because it's not kept as tight. The other one with that weight bar on the bottom had nice even weighting all the way across it. And I pre-tensioned it when I sewed it in there to keep it taut uh, on sideways. This is not how this screen is kind of meant to be. It's meant to have those bungees all the way around and all those eyelets to stretch it horizontally and vertically, but that doesn't work with my particular system here. I could try to do some of that, but I actually like this. Uh, the image quality is fine for me. I'm not a big on that. I, the, the functionality is the biggest thing I'm worried about. And the ball is actually more controlled coming off this. I don't have any issue with it going back into the wall behind it, even though I've got a relatively tight gap. It still stops it in plenty of time. Um, and the ball doesn't kind of come back with as much energy. So I actually like this better than my old setup. I'm not gonna go back. Um, and that weight bar, when I'd hit the driver or something like that, that would pull up off the ground and bang around. Um, don't have that at all with this. The mats stay nice and flat. They go right back to their purpose. Just much more controlled setup. And I also don't have the wear and tear of the screen on that weight bar and where it rips through and having to fix that. So. Overall, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. The other thing I've noticed on the screen, it's a little bit stronger than that other one I had. The other one didn't have any tears or anything like that, but when you'd repeatedly hit at one area, the fabric would stretch. And that's what it's meant to do, but it would kind of stay there until you come shake it or, or kind of stretch it in other directions and it would go back. This one, I'm not seeing that at all. So I think it's just a bit thicker material it feels like uh, there's a backing material on the impact screen material also so it's just a little sturdier the other one was thinner and just had kind of that uh, flexible woven fabric this has a, a, another backing fabric um, partially to do with that it, it's also you know finished at the edges so overall it's just a little bit more of a robust fabric there we have it installation of our impact screen by iKeek Visit their Amazon store, link in the description below. It's a great value screen. Are there other equivalent screens out there? There's a lot of different options, yes. But I don't think you're gonna find a better value than this particular screen on Amazon. Fit my needs perfectly. 
I hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. Adios.